I don't agree when critics say that they're just, you know, 70s carbon copies or whatever, because I think if they were, people would see through that and just think their music's too 70s orientated, we're not interested, but I don't think people say that, because for us, the teenagers who are Swade's target audience, we haven't lived through the 70s as teenagers, so we don't know what the music's like. I met Brett, it was, was at a party somewhere in, in Hayward's Heath and the next time I saw him was when we were both at the same college and he was, uh, he was playing Beatles songs for some reason on an electric guitar in, the, in one of the rooms and, and the f I think the first thing that I actually said to him was um, do you want to be in a band? because I was in an, an incredibly dodgy sub goth band at the time <laughs> Brett just started messing around in his bedroom playing terrible kind of sub folk acoustic rock. The moment that, that Bernard turned up is the, is the moment Suede started to, to be anything. Basically, because he, he just made me and Brett buck up our ideas completely. I mean, one of the first things he said to us was, at, at, at the end of the very first time we met him, was he asked how old we were. And we were both 22, I think. So we both said, oh, 22. And he just said, oh, you better get a move on then. Um, which, was, <laughs> which was incredibly cheeky from him, because it was the first time we'd ever met him. But it was completely true. Because we had, up until that point, been quite happy to mess around thinking up good names or thinking what would be on the sleeve or something. I watched the skyline for him to come And when he comes along, we'll be gone We'll go We'll be there in the headline, there overnight. The time when I met Brett, it was just, um, I just thought he, he had a great voice and he was nice and he looked good and all that. And, and, and the, main, the main point was that I knew that I always, I never wanted to be an acoustic guitar player strumming at the back and sort of being happy like that. I always, I always wrote songs from the moment I learned to have from the moment I learned how to put two chords together, that's the first time I wrote a song. And so I'd always wanted to be a songwriter. This is the big time. This is the way. Now he's in the big time. And you're in the way. And the final piece in the jigsaw appeared when we met Simon, who's a friend of a friend, who used to sell tickets down at Ewley, where we'd go and see gigs. And we'd tried loads of drummers before, because we wanted a, a real drummer, um, but no one had fitted in at all. And again, with Simon, it's exactly the same as with Bernard. Within, like, 15 seconds of him playing, we, we all just knew he was completely right. <laughs> It's been my ambition to be a musician, pop star, whatever, you know, always, since I was four. I can't live this is my 13th band. 
But uh, all the bands I've been in before, uh, I just weren't. This is the first band I've ever played with that, that I've felt completely 100% into. You can't take it, I can't take it. I sometimes think, oh, it's so mundane and boring and average living in Devon. I can't wait to get away and do something a bit more positive, a bit different with my life, which is what Suede have introduced to me. They're not um, famous in an American film star way. You know, they've made it for themselves through their music. I don't think, you know, they were brought into a glamorous world, but they're definitely... I think it was so unglamorous for them that they've made the glamour. Suede have affected Molly's life quite positively. You know, it's, it's, she's taken on quite a lot of their statements, and it's it's perfect because they open up so many topics of conversation for us. Somehow, we've actually got closer, Molly and myself, through this. You know, and it's it's not just a crazy obsession with. Um, a band it's it's they're more than that somehow they're they're saying something about society today Hello. 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 You're right. Hi, mate. How are you? Got dirty hands. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Molly had to sing. Um, was it the next life in RE to a whole RE group? Yeah. 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 She, got, she got her homework, so Mr. Roberts, our teacher, said you have to sing a Suede song. So I chose the next life. When well, you but sang it in front of the class? Yeah. Well, only yeah. seven. <laughs> did, you have to do, did you do it all when, with the full set of it? Yeah, I had to do everything. Although I stopped on the high bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Roberts sounds like a 